Hello guys, welcome to Blended Academy. My name is Tuso and I'm one of the tutors here. So I'll be covering trigonometry in this first lesson. We'll be focusing on revision from grade 11. Please do join us, it's gonna be lots of fun. Let's do this. Cheers. Welcome to the lesson guys. Today we're gonna to be working on trigonometry. We're gonna start off with a reduction formula. And please guys, make notes as we move along because I'm gonna to need to, uh, to make some more space for different examples and, and questions. Uh, starting off with the reduction formula, this formula is used to simplify trigonometric expressions. Uh, for example, let's simplify this expression here, sine 180 degrees minus theta divided by cos 180 degrees minus the theta. So now we're going to use some of the tricks that we're going to learn uh, as the video progresses. But let me just give you the feel of it, uh, how this, this thing works. So now sine 180, it's in the second quadrant, that's why we're going to have 180 minus theta. And we know that in the second quadrant, sine is positive, so it's going to be positive sine theta. And then uh, going down to our denominator, cos 180 degrees minus theta. This also in the second quadrant. In the second quadrant, uh, cos is negative. So we're going to have something like minus cos theta. And then we know that sine theta divided by cos theta, that's tan theta. So this thing simplifies to minus tan theta. You see, that's how we use our reduction formula. I used to simplify trigonometric expressions. Uh, let me just make some space and then we're gonna dive right into it. Uh, there's a phrase that you need to know. This phrase is gonna help you remember which functions are positive in which quadrant. This is the phrase. All students take coffee. All students take coffee. You need to remember this phrase in order for you to successfully solve uh, trigonometric expressions. So this phrase comes with a diagram. This is the diagram that comes with the phrase. It's a Cartesian plane with our different axes and in different angles. Here at the top we have y and then on the right that's what we, have. we have our x and then zero degrees there. Uh, moving anti-clockwise, we're going to have 90 degrees at the top. And then on our left, we're going to have 180 degrees. At the bottom, that's where we're going to have 270 degrees. And then there, at the right again, far right, we're going to have 360 degrees. So now, in order for us to use this uh, phrase, all students take coffee. You need to know which quadrants we're working with. So here. This is our first quadrant, we're going to name it Q1, this portion here, it's our first quadrant. And then, let me just write it nicely here at the top, so that you guys don't get confused. Because I can see it's overlapping with our Cartesian plane. So, it's going to be take here, and then coffee there, nicely. So now, this is our 90 degrees again. So now, this is the first quadrant, and then this is the second quadrant. This is the third quadrant this is the fourth and last quadrant so you need to know which quadrant you're working at for you to to solve or to simplify trigonometric expressions uh, here in our first quadrant we know that all the angles that are in the first quadrant are less than 90 degrees these are acute angles that we're dealing with here acute angles uh, and then on this in the second quadrant these are angles that are greater than 90 degrees so it's greater than 90 degrees, but less than 180 degrees. So this way we're going to have 180 degrees minus theta. Well, for all the angles, uh, we know that theta, let me just write it, uh, let me get some space for you. Let me write it here. Theta is always less than 90 degrees for this thing to be true. So it has to be 180 degrees minus theta for us to be working in the second quadrant and then moving right along to the third quadrant that's where we're going to have 180 degrees 
plus theta because now we're working with an angle between 180 degrees and 270 degrees so it's more than 180 degrees but less than 270 degrees that's our 180 degrees plus theta and then on our in our first uh, in our fourth quadrant we're gonna have 360 degrees minus theta this is the angle in our in our last quadrant so it's less than 360 degrees but more than 270 degrees um, now applying this phrase now to this to this uh, Cartesian plane a is applicable in the first quadrant that means all functions are positive all functions are positive in the first quadrant and then moving to the second quadrant you're going to work with s this s represents psi so you need to know that psi is positive in the second quadrant so whenever you're working with sine, you need to know that it's positive in the second quadrant sine is positive and then in our third quadrant we're going to be working with tan this function is positive in this quadrant so tan is positive in the third quadrant and then in our fourth quadrant you're going to be working with cos cos uh, is positive in this quadrant let me just write it there cos is positive in this quadrant so so we're done with this uh, with this Cartesian plane let me just give you some examples of how we're gonna apply this uh, this reduction formula to our uh, problems so in the first quadrant oh, sorry, in the second quadrant that's where we're gonna start applying this um, this phrase that's where we're going to have sine 180 degrees, for example, minus theta, because it's in our second quadrant. Okay, sharp. You're going to go look at sine. So it's sine in the, in the second quadrant, sine 180 degrees, and you know that sine is positive in this quadrant. So this, thing sim or this expression simplifies to sine theta. That's how we simplify these expressions. So now another example, still in the second quadrant. Uh, let's work with cos. Cos is the first one, and this is the second one. Cos using the same angle, 180 degrees minus theta. So now we need to go look at cos 180 degrees. This is in our second quadrant, because that's where we're going to have our 180 degrees angle. And we know that in the second quadrant, only sine is positive. All the other functions are negative. That means tan is negative, cos is also negative. So this expression is going to simplify to minus cos theta that's in our second quadrant and we're still working on this second quadrant so now working with the last function which is tan tan 180 degrees minus theta so you need to remember that this also in the second quad quadrant and then that's where sine is positive and all the other functions are negative so it's going to be minus tan theta so now that's how we we simplify uh, different expressions in the second quadrant. Now let's move on. Let's work with uh, functions in the third quadrant. And then I'll show you how we're going to simplify uh, those expressions. First, let's work again with sine. So it's going to be sine 180 degrees plus theta. This angle uh, shows us that this expression is in the third quadrant that's where we're going to have 180 degrees plus theta and we know that in the third quadrant only tan is positive and all the other functions are negative so that means here we're going to have something like minus sine theta that's how we simplify it and then second example cos 180 degrees plus theta and it's the same angle that means it's in the same quadrant which is the third quadrant that's why we have 180 degrees plus theta. And then we know that cos is negative in this, in this quadrant. It's minus cos theta. That's how we simplify it. And then the last one, let's look at tan. 180 degrees plus theta. So looking at this expression, you can see from the angle that 180 degrees is in our third quadrant. It's, it's, uh, and we know that in this quadrant, 
tan is the only function that's positive. All the other two functions are negative. So it's going to be positive tan theta. That's how we simplify expressions in the third quadrant. Now let's move on to the fourth and final quadrant. Let me show you how you can simplify functions in that quadrant given different angles. So uh, let's start off with sign again. Sign 360 degrees minus theta. 360 degrees is an angle in the fourth quadrant. And we know that in the fourth quadrant, only cos is positive and sine and tan are negative. So it's going to be minus sine theta. That's how we simplify it. And then uh, the second example, we're going to have uh, cos 360 minus theta. This is in our, in our fourth quadrant again. And that's where we know that cos is positive and all the other functions are negative. So it's going to be positive cos theta. And then the last one is tan using the same angle again, 360 minus theta. So 360 minus theta, it's in the fourth quadrant. That's where cos is positive and all the other functions are negative. So it's going to be minus tan because we're dealing with tan here, tan theta. Uh, the last thing now, you need to remember that These quadrants, or this, this, this uh, reduction formula, they're applicable for angles, uh, for the following angles. 180 degrees, uh, 180 plus, if it's if an angle less than, less, than, less than 90 degrees. 180 plus, 180 minus, and also 360 minus. Nice. And for all these this, uh, angles, theta has to be less than 90 degrees for this to be applicable. You need to remember that. Uh, we're going to wrap up now. I'm going to just going to give you uh, an example that you're going to work on. Let us solve an example and then see if you guys have understood this concept. Uh, let's gonna give you a few examples, but I'm gonna work on a few examples here. Yeah, here are some examples that I'm gonna work through with you guys. So now the first one is sine 180 degrees plus theta divided by cos 180 degrees minus theta. So now with a, a numerator, you can see it's 180 plus theta. That means it's an angle between 180 degrees and 270 degrees. That's in our third quadrant. So we know that in the third quadrant, sine is negative. Only tan is positive in this quadrant. So we're going to have something like minus sine theta because it's in our, our third quadrant. And then for the denominator now, it's cos 180 degrees minus theta. That's in our second quadrant. That's where we have 180 degrees minus theta. So now we know that in this quadrant, uh, cos is negative. Only side is positive in this quadrant. So we're going to get something like minus uh, cos theta. And we know that while dividing uh, negatives, these negative are gonna, negatives are going to cancel out. So we're going to have something like side theta divided by cos theta. And this gives us or simplifies to tan theta. That's our solution for this for this example. And then for the second example, we have cos 360 degrees minus theta. 360 degrees is in the fourth quadrant. And that's where cos is positive. So we know this is going to simplify to cos theta divided by and then on the denominator, we have 180, sine 180 degrees minus theta. That's in our second quadrant. And you know that in this quadrant, sine is positive. So it's going to be sine theta. That's why we're going to simplify that one. And then for the other one, it's tan 360 degrees minus theta. That's in our fourth quadrant. And you know that in the fourth quadrant, uh, only cos is positive. Tan and sine are negative. So that's going to simplify to minus. Minus. 
theta. And then going down, it's going to be cos theta divided by sine theta plus, oh, sorry, sorry, you know that negative times negative, positive, that's a negative, that's negative times theta. That's our solution for this second example. So now let me give you an example that you guys are going to work on on your own. And I'll provide the solution for this example in the next video. Thank you guys for joining me. Uh, we're going to continue with the revision lessons in the next video. Please do join us.